doing this mission for Walter. I think it's Walter. I forgot what we're in the middle of doing right now. Slaying is impounding my ship. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting over. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Get to the next floor. Slayton Aerospace is the premier component supplier for a variety of starship needs. But if you were supposed to be here, you would know that already. I thought that was... I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Ah, oh, there does seem to be a hole in his schedule. Perfect. Oh. I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. You have a question, you can chat with the receptionist all you want. Wait. This clearly is a new executive level. How'd you get here, Walter? Walter. Uh, taking what's mine. Then breaking into my office. What is going on? A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter. We're trapped in the there? elevator. Isa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Well, a moment. Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Who's that? That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Not this way. Below you is clear. Drop down. 
Stop. What was that? One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now. Stretch across to the door. Keep going all the way to the end. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now. Let me just get that for you. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You'll have to fight your way to the exit. After you,
We're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. If we have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Same old song, huh? You know how this works. Just make up your mind. I don't need to tell you this, but we don't need to kill him. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. And we got what we wanted. I don't wanted. want to kill him. I... Thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Just took out a couple of his guards, no big deal. The other guards seem to not care. Relax. The violence is over. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Don't see what happened to your friends.
that Kelcor? She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Okay. Now I see them. Oh, that's good. the man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? All in sure. all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> Yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Oh, I got a rifle for that? And 10,000 bucks?
sentiment that is shared by my kind about you. We're not the ones making threats. Your moral grandstanding is hollow, as is your position. Make up your mind, or we will act. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on! Just us looking for these artifacts, huh? Starbull. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? No. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone? Come take a look at this. So this is the situation. That's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Group. Demanding we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, claiming to parents that. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe <clears throat> a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that show Don't either. Boy Barrett. So we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Well, some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. On oh, no, no, must gonna... speak, be quick about it. Must talk soon. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. All right.
and I can't do it. <laughs> and now we're going back to Neon. Okay, let's see how long these ones take. Captain, over here. Uh, what's up? The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I... am a clone. What's of a up, man dude? named Francois Sanon. One-time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War. Former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated in Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. I'm the last. A few of my siblings, they passed when we were young. Training accidents and the like. But most of the rest were deployed to the front lines during the colony war, and they never came back. Not a day goes by where I don't think about what the world would look like with them still in it. A non-trivial amount of gene editing. Clone, honestly, isn't even really the right term for our relationship, thanks to the amount of donor material that was required to bring me into this world. He and I are different on more than a few levels, but there's no denying the fact we're inextricably linked. <laughs> He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well... They're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. 
So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. All right. Nope. I, uh, I just thought you should know about Bay Victus, my father, before we got up there. There's a non-zero chance the cabinet brings him up. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know no. you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or, if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. Yeah. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. Come find me when you're done. Back to Neon. Oh, that ship's still like chilling out there. Like, oh, you came back. I have to take my entire like load of alcohol of back to me. No, no, no. Hey, wait. You were there when those security assholes nabbed me. Please, have a heart. You need to help me. 
Thank you. Oh, God. I gotta admit, I'm freaking out here. I've lost my job. I've lost my creds, and if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Yannick is expecting a package. A really not so legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded, he'll take care of you. Oh man, you must still got space dust between your ears. Yannick Legrand's got the best booze and refreshments outside of the Astral Lounge. And unlike Astral, it's priced for real people, not just corporate heels. And he's the maker of blend, so he's the man. In a kind of punch your face sort of way. I, uh, don't. But you are my last and really only chance. You are a regular lifesaver. You're solid. My crates on block O2 in Ebside. My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there, everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. All right. A little drug dealing. Why not? Hey, no funny stuff with that person. Look at you. Beautiful. Unique. Original. Enhanced. We've been here an hour already. Maybe you should have figured out Hi what there. you wanted before enhance. we came. I just never thought I'd have to quit up? here. I don't screw it up. Nice. You're not using the same one? Thanks. Yeah, that makes more sense for what we're doing here, I guess. Sleep crates for rent. I have some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me. You can do better. Anywhere else. You have the proper authorization code, and I'll let you into any place you like. I might even throw in a thank you. You look like the type that might appreciate it. I got it, I got it. And... Authentication is all green. Look for C-153. Before you go... I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. I've got some evicted crates set up to go to the dump. Might be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to find out. Oh, like storage crate? Great. Unit C203 is now keyed to you. Best of luck. Oh. Oh, 
This is C203. Coffee mug. There's nothing in here. Alright, whatever. I guess I want to sleep right now. It's just harder to keep in touch these days. This just goes smooth. Your dad's jumping in from where? Paradiso. Take it easy. All this time we thought he was just being some ah, miserable customer. Feel free to spend your you credits you or get the hell out. Your dick. Yeah? You need something? If you're here for blend, I just had a new batch come in last night. No mystery, the name says it all. Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of, so if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. All right, and as soon as word gets out, blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Oh yeah, right. You're with Nasher. I see the family resemblance. You're practically twins. I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. Oh, really? Huh. Fascinating. So Nesher came through. Eh, might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly minnows are all that's left. Take the credit. <laughs> I am known far and wide for my generosity. Ask anyone. Yes, yes. He is loyal. Loyalty will be rewarded. You look like talent. Serious talent. And no one knows you. Yes. You are looking at the one and only maker of Yannick's blend. It's potent. It's good. And as a jackhammer of a kick. <laughs> the kick is the problem. But you may be a solution. I'm thinking a new, cleaner, smarter operation, with you working for me. Ah, and smart. I like you. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astral Lounge. And really, really illegal off-world. If the rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, that's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayou finds out you're selling it on the streets, even bigger trouble. But so far, I have outsmarted them all. And together, we can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the great man Bayou at the same time. Yet, Yannick 
does cross him, and he is none the wiser. Ah! Nesher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes, but he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other Useless. employee, the Felix Sadler, makes Nesher look like a genius. I think it is time Felix Sadler takes a vacation. Permanent. Off-world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't care which. But you deal with him. And you become very valuable to Yannick. Ah, Felix. Felix is a... Mess. Samples too much of his own wares, understand? Uh, getting high on his own He's been getting worse, and the danger to the whole operation. Best if he just goes away. This is the start of something Why not? beautiful. <laughs> Felix sacks up in some dingy warehouse in Ebside. You will find him there. Ah, here for some blend? Can't blame you. Best drink in the settled system. Oh, now we have to. All right. Find Felix Sandler. No, not today. Should we just off him? Whoa. I did not know that was about to happen. Did you see yourself? Those Sioka Syndicate freaks had no chance. Yannick came through. That asshole rescued his boy. Tell him I won't forget. We are tight. I cannot be hearing you right. Off world. Just pack up and go? No, 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 no. That, that can't be right. I mean, Yannick screwed without me. We had big plans. Big! Tell you what. Screw Yannick. I hope the Syndicate string him up and execute the bastard. And screw you too. Yeah! You expect me to just... I mean, after what you did to all the... All right! Sheesh. I'm leaving. Tell Yannick I'll miss him. Or maybe not. Alright, easy enough. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen, but...
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Now what is this? A gang. Worst gang there is. They'll stab you for kicks, taking bets on how long you squeal before you bleed out. And that's not a hyper whatchamacallit. They seriously did that. Hyperbole? <laughs> Poor Ted. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, I kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvages. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. They have a heart. Story of my life. So many questions. Tevin Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise. You don't want a piece of that. Please. You good? You deal with Felix yet? I'm sure it was a great pleasure. You get results. Like me. <laughs> well, hopefully not too much like me, right? <laughs> so, now. New business plan, where I am the boss and you are my capable and well-rewarded underling, yeah? Yannick's blend is running low. Soon there will be angry customer and that's bad for business. What we need is Aurora. And there's only one place to get that. Xenofresh Fisheries. Nasher worked there and had a secret contact. Even secret from me, his good friend. Who supplied the Aurora? Hmm. Maybe. No longer important. So, <sighs> it is time for you to become a productive member of society and get no, a I job can't. at Xenofresh. And here are some superb and very legitimate credentials. And your new name is... Riley, Riley. Chernyshevsky. Ah, nice to meet you, Riley. <laughs> So you apply there to work in production. Oh, uh, you know how to make amp, yes? Simple recipe. They expect applicants to know basic chemistry. Of course you can. So you need to put on your best suit, Riley, and make a good impression. Right. Neshar's contact should be looking for someone like you. So find them. <laughs> Then, we line up more Aurora, and profits will flow. Alright. Hey there. Hey. Alright, probably one more fishy business. All right, now what are we doing? So, so I need to get into Soap Court, a neon straight tower, and upload the perp.
surprised my headset was that close to dead. If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. Not sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what, but they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. Like the Living Queen. Right there! You're under arrest! Good. Oh, I accidentally got arrested. Served three days in jail. The trauma. Security's got its eyes on Saburo over Digbo. They took- why would they take my trauma pack? So they took my trauma pack. But all oh, the 31 weapons, that's fine. Whatever. Maybe it's because I stole that too. Let's not add the got arrested part. Hopefully, they don't know about that. survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? Nope. Nope. Oh. Come on, 
we talk paying that? Let's just... If you think you have any power of negotiating your pay, think again. Besides, payment is based off performance. <sighs> so, let's hear it. How'd that first job go? I heard you made quite the scene in the Trade Tower. Something I explicitly told you okay. we wanted to avoid. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews, you get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. All right. Lucky for you, there'll be no docks in pay today. Just try to be more careful All in right. the future. Gotcha, gotcha. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and we'll be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Alright. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. All right. Next time we might do this one, then this one. I still gotta repair those. Find new stories for us and uh still gotta try to extract that. So when we do have to go back, activity is starting to get long again. So maybe we do these two. So what's up? And we do like that one. And then start going up to like a new narrative for Alright, well we got a lot of side missions done. So far it's starting to thin out with the side missions. next time.